Pro-Palestinian protesters are unbelievably organising a national march to boycott uh, on Remembrance Day as concerns grow about community tensions on the commemorations for our fallen heroes. The plans and remarks have been greeted with outrage, however, by members of the veterans community. Many are warning that the action will alienate thousands from the Palestinian cause. Joining me now is former British Army officer, it's Henry Bolson. Henry, thank you very, very much. Should this march, which includes people being bussed in from places like Leicester, 20 quid, by the way, be banned? Well, first of all, Patrick, if I may, I uh, just want to say a big thank you on behalf of everybody who's served, um, past and present, for your efforts. Um, it's been absolutely outstanding, the response, and I just want to, I just want to say that. Yeah, Forgive me for I appreciate it, but it's question. definitely it's definitely down to the viewers and listeners, but I, absolutely. But thank you. Go on, carry on, Henry, carry on. But, um, should this take place? This march should not take place. And I, I say that... Um, Look, first of all, let's recognise that there's a huge amount of concern out there from everybody, myself included, about civilian casualties, the collateral damage relating to the war that's going on in Gaza at the moment, and indeed on, on Israel's northern border and so on, with Lebanon, with Hezbollah and so on. But, um, but fundamentally, we've got to recognise that whilst people have got every right to express that, the idea that something is being organised with the full knowledge that it is likely to be perceived as a provocation, as a challenge, if you like, to the British cultural historic uh, event of the 11th of November is shocking. The, if, if Sir Mark Rowley, the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police and Westminster City Council and, and, and Sadiq Khan as Mayor of London allow this to go ahead, I can only, I can only assume conclude that they are actually supporting Hamas and these protests that are in effect anti-Israeli in nature at the moment. They're not hostile in, in terms of militant, but there is, I, I saw the, the protest at the beginning of the week, I think it was on Monday, I watched it go past Waterloo, and it is a call for resistance against Israel. The question of that was the part of the march I saw was peaceful. So, you know, and, and you're showing now the, uh, the, I think that's either St Pancras or Liverpool Street Station. Mm. These are not simply protests expressing concern about civilian casualties. There's more to it than that. And I've worked in many Muslim countries and I've seen this sort of encroachment on, uh, by Muslim cultures on, the, if you like, the, the, the native culture. We don't have a problem with what they're protesting against in terms of civilian casualties, but do not, please, I beg you, do not bring your conflict onto the streets, streets of Great Britain by disturbing one of the most sacred uh, events of our annual calendar. Don't do it. Yeah, uh, and don't allow I mean, it to take place. That's my message to the Met Police Commissioner. Yeah, Henry, it's strong stuff, and loads of people will agree with you on that. I just think it's time, surely, for common sense to prevail and go, yeah, we have to stop this now. Just, just for this day. This, is, this should be a, a sacred day in Britain's calendar, for goodness sake. It should be a sacred day. A sacred couple of days it, in Britain's calendar. It, it should be a sacred month. It, it is. Uh, absolutely, Patrick. Look, you know, they've had ample opportunity to, to, to make their feelings known. No doubt there will be other protests as well. But on this day, on the 11th of November, it is outrageous that we are sitting here wondering whether or not this is going to be allowed to go ahead. And the fact that it's been publicised already suggests to me that they've already got the authority for it to happen. Mm. Uh, that authority needs to be rescinded. Ministers need to get involved now, because otherwise, I don't think that if there's any disruption uh, on the 11th, whether it's whatever events it is, on the 11th of the 11th, I think the British people will probably turn against this. At the moment, there's concern. It may spill over to more than that, and it's irresponsible to court that possibility. OK, Henry, look, thank you very, very much. That's Henry Bolton there. He's a former British Army officer. Do you agree with Henry? Do you disagree with him? We live in a free country. Should you be allowed to protest whenever you want about whatever you want? GBviews at gbnews.com.